round trip on the ASL mapping model. Normally, you would have your entire uh, Git models, uh, XGML models repository cloned on your machine. I simply have the SWATs and test directories. So I'm going to change directory into the into test and I'll list the SWATS models so you can see those. I'm going to cheat here a little bit and I've got a history of commands. So the first command that you need is you need to set an environment variable called uh, BP install. And that points to your Bridgepoint installation. Mine is on my C drive at XGML Bridgepoint. And then I can run the round trip script, giving it a, um, a pointer to the domain, which is just up in the SWATS uh, directory one above me. My output directory is going to be Z1, and I'm going to give it a switch that says to run the Mazel idiom. And so it is going to launch an Eclipse command line instance. So Eclipse is going to be launched as a server in the background. And then we will speak through a socket to that server uh, the, the script knows how to do that, and it automates and allows you to run the um, uh, the conversion of the Mazel version of um, the ASL um, mapping model. So it does the Mazel to XTUML, and then it turns right around and runs XTUML to Mazel with the dash A flag uh, giving you the output. And now our diff is in this Z1 um, and we get the couple of lines of scenario diffs just like we've seen uh, when we when we run it manually. So that's round trip. That saves you a lot of work. It lets you run any single model uh, start to finish, converting it, importing it, exporting it, comparing the differences. Now I have another script called regression test that you will find in my branch of the models repository. And to run it, I have Let me find it in my history here. Regression test. So number six. Now what this does is it runs the same round trip script, but it runs it on a list of files that are given on standard input. So if I list out this DOS WASL file, it has ASL mapping in it. What's a bit more interesting is I can list out all of the SWATS models. And so let's run this regression test. I'm going to remove the Z1 output directory so I can reuse it. Tell it to use the WASL idiom and some WASL swats. So again, this is going to launch the Eclipse uh, command line instance in the background uh, and use it as a server. And it's going to run round trip on every one of these models in sequence. So this is how I automate running lots of models through the process and uh, doing the diff. And this previously ran only in a Unix environment. Now it's running in Windows. And so you should be able to, to use it 
uh, not just on the SWATS models, but also on just build a file with a list of your production models and uh, and it'll iterate through them. You can see that it ran the ASL mapping model and it says that there's a diff report. Now it's running the next model, the creation deletion, and it's going to iterate through and run all of them. I will go ahead and allow this to run. It should only take uh, maybe a few minutes. And so the, the video may be a little bit boring here as we watch it go um, iterate through, uh, but then you'll be able to see that at the end, it gives a summary of the number of line differences that we have. And this is the source of the data that has been being plugged into the spreadsheet that we've been sharing. Notice that, and maybe you've seen this, but when you run um, the output X to amount, see this interesting data here in the middle? I don't know if I've ever explained that, um, but there's a flag that measures coverage, you know, on how much of the schleyer meller meta model was touched by any particular um, model and if like here's activity here's the um, association traversals if there's a star above that particular section then that means that the, that this test model covers that part of the of the meta model and then uh, um, with an entire test suite we can get a summary of of all of that coverage and know how much coverage that we have. So we just converted the uh, events model. Now we're on find and sets. There's a model that has zero differences in the output and so it says that the input is identical to the output. Those differences come from the golden wazzle so our generated wazzle is compared to the golden wazzle. Even though it takes a, a minute or two for this to run, the amount of command line and man, you know human test running that that is automated is substantial, and especially with your production models, you're going to run uh, you're going to run all of them through, and you're going to find that some of them work and some of them don't. And so then you'll be able to go and find out what's what's not working with with one particular model. Just run round trip on it by itself for a while. And then once it's successful, kind of put it into a, a, a regression file that lets you, you know, every time you get a new version and update of Bridgepoint, you can run that regression and make sure that all of those models are still giving you the same consistent output that you had. Uh, and our ultimate goal will be that just like SWATS, all the SWATS models convert. We want to get to the point where all of the production models are converting uh, cleanly, or at least as cleanly as our, as our diff tool is capable of detecting. Of course, we will have to go and investigate some of the some of the diffs and see if they're benign or whether there's a real issue. Now this version doesn't show um, some additional tracing and logging, but there's a build that's being produced right now that has tracing and logging that will be useful to help you isolate uh, problems that are either um, in the source model or problems in in, in Bridgepoint that are being identified by a particular 
line or construct in the source model, and that's going to help us to uh, uh, make a lot of progress quickly. Okay, so all the tests uh, are complete, and we get our summary output here. The number of line differences, uh, this you should recognize those numbers from the um, round trip results that we've been seeing in the spreadsheet. I hope this video helps you get up and going on your own machine at work.